Well, this was an interesting day, to say the least. I mean, it, it all started, we were just in a normal day, getting ready for shoot around, and I get a call from John, our head athletic trainer. You know, told, and he told me to sit down, so I knew something was up, and told me what, everything that was going on. And, and from that point on, it was, it was just a whirlwind. And the thing about this game, it wasn't my scout, so I hadn't seen them. I hadn't really locked in on this opponent. And that's why you give so much credit to Marcus Grant. It was his scout. He knew him backwards and forwards. And, he did a tremendous job, uh, you know, handling all, all everything they were trying to do. And then, you know, ironically, going into this, this last few weeks, Coach Sansbury has really been on our team about being more player driven because obviously we have the mask mandate going on and the conference has really been on us about wearing those masks. And so you can't communicate as much from the bench. So Coach has really been harping on these guys about being player driven. And we, we really saw it for the first time at Marshall Sunday that we, we could hear them more. Uh, than we had in the past, and then it just carried over today. They had to do it today, and they did a great job. And you know, this, there's so much senior leadership out there today, and, and it was just a uh, really a really good win under the circumstances. Um, Coach, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News here in Bowling Green. Um, you know, first of all, please pass along the well wishes to, to Coach from us. Um, but you know, you mentioned player driven. Uh, probably the most balanced attack of the season, five and double figures, and then Josh with nine. I guess, what did you see that just led to that balance here tonight? Well, I think when something like this happens that, that our guys aren't selfish anyway. I mean, we, we've got a, you know, we're a team. It's all about the team. It's all about winning. But when something like this happens, you, it really brings home the fact that, like, we need to do whatever it takes to win. So you kind of drop everything uh, except the fact that, okay, what can I do to win? So, so uh, you know, Charles struggled a little bit in the first half. Um, and then he played really well in the second half. Luke really stepped up big in the first half. Uh, when, when we needed a we needed a boost, he he hit a couple of shots and uh, played well. I thought I thought those other guys, Josh and Tavion and and Davion, they were all just consistent throughout the whole game. So we did have great bounce guys off the bench played well. Jordan came in and made shots. Uh, Coop came in. Coop got frogged. You know, he got hit in the thigh on that very first play he was in the game. So I thought that slowed him down a little bit. But uh, we're kind of shorthanded. Kevin was a little, you know, he's had some back issues, so we were a little shorthanded shorthanded going in already. Uh, but the bench did good. But we, we kind of ran the wheels off some of those those guys who played a lot of minutes tonight. So it's you know they're they're pretty tired tonight. Uh, Coach, this is Caden Gaylor with the Herald. Um, you know when you found out the news uh, earlier today, uh, what exactly went through your head uh, throughout the day up until the start of the game? Well, the the, the first thing that goes in your mind is through your mind is man. I don't want to do anything to, to to screw this thing up. We're playing so well. We we've, we've got a this is a terrific bunch of guys. They want to win. You know, they put themselves in a great position. And, you know, okay, what can I do in the next four hours to make sure, you know, make sure we're ready to go? And, you know, Coach Sansbury called me. He was, he was terrific in his communication with me. He never, you know, he never tried to, you know, he never tried to, to do too much or, or to be over-involved. And he just, he did a, his, he had great words with me of just, of just, you know, positivity. And then he, and he said the same thing to the team. So, it was such a whirlwind. There wasn't there wasn't a whole lot we could do, but uh, we've got really good players. We've got a really good team, and 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 they came out and did the job today. And I guess to follow that up, you know, we're getting later into the season. Um, is this the type of performance that you know you all expect from the team uh, throughout the rest of the season? Yeah, I, I definitely think that from these older, we're, we're a veteran team. You know, these guys have been through it. And, you know, and they, they want this thing bad and they want to win the league and, and uh, they've been through it and, and they know, they, 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 you know, they know when, when, you, when your leader's not out there with you today, they knew they all had to uh, take it to another level in terms of concentration and energy and they did that today. Uh, Coach Jared with the Daily News again, you mentioned Charles having a little bit of a slower production in the first half, but you guys are able to, to attempt 14 threes, make six of those, I believe, and then go 12 of 13 from the free throw line. I guess, what did you see that led to the success in, um, you know, those two areas of the game? Well, the first thing that happened when Luke got us going at the three-point line. He made, I think he made one against the zone, but he made a couple against man-to-man, -man, made a tough one uh, with a guy right in his face against man-to-man. -man. So, you all know our struggles have been shooting the ball. And uh, for us to go 10 to 20 today was, was phenomenal, you know, for us from a numbers perspective. But, but uh, in terms of the free throw line, I mean, that's, that's always – I've been with Coach Sansbury a long time, and, and you can go back and look at the records. That's always been one of his emphasis. And this team certainly 
you know, is holding that tradition up. And we got the line. I think Carson got the line maybe 10, 11 times today. And he was a workhorse today. I mean, he really – he really stepped up and, and you know, put pressure on the back, put pressure on them defensively. And of course, Charles always does. And uh, but yeah, Charles had a slow first half, but he came out early in the second half. I think really set the tone. And you know, with, with those two players specifically, Coach Stansberry has talked about trying to get those two on the court and, and the production together and figuring that out. You know, these last two games, Charles and Carson, you know, they've been leading this group. I guess how have you seen them kind of come together lately? Well, it's it's just it's just a matter of you know how can you you know how can you from an offensive standpoint how can you get those guys both the basketball where 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 they need to have it now the difference is in these last two games is Carson at Marshall and then Charles Charles has been pretty consistent last three four games making threes so you think about Charles Charles three was probably the biggest shot of the game from a are are, are they going to get back in the game or not and he popped and hit that three that was a huge shot. And uh, they're both so good on the block, and they command so much attention on the block. But now the ability for them to step out and stretch and hit that top of the key three makes it even harder for a defense to double or do any kind of rotation to try and stop them in the paint. Hey, Coach, this is uh, Nick Keezer from the College Heights Herald. Uh, you know, I just wanted to ask you more about the energy. I know that we've really, you know, heard from you more about that because leadership is stepping up. But, you know, seeing guys like Charles and, you know, everyone that, you know, got into double digits, today how big is it to have that energy carry over not just for tomorrow but for the rest of the season moving forward well as you all know watching games all around the country and it's certainly the case here today when, when there's not many fans there you know you you've got to create your own energy and coach Sansbury's been you know he's he hadn't run from that and he saw to the team about you know the, the interesting thing is that Diddle Arena's to me has been the best atmosphere we've played in you know even even when we played at Louisville but uh, when you go on the road, I mean, it's, it's hardly anybody at the game. And so you can't – you got to kind of drop your pride at the door and you can't worry about if somebody's hearing my voice. And, and you've got to have energy. And I think with a with an upperclassman-led team who who really wants to play so well and wants to win over everything right now, uh, it, it, I don't think it's been an issue at all of them showing that kind of energy. And tonight we had to have we, – we really challenged them for the game. I mean, it's got to be an energy game. And, and they've had – and a couple of guys that don't get much credit for energy is a guy like Josh Anderson. He's not the most verbal guy, uh, but but he plays with great energy on both ends of the floor. He's completely unselfish. Uh, but, but uh, you know, he's probably – you know, he's probably a leader in that category in terms of energy. And, uh, Coach, uh, looking forward to the next game. Uh, Middleton C has been blown up before, but come back in the second game. So what do you all have to do um, to keep the momentum going in the second game to get the win again? Well, the number one thing is we've got to do everything in our power to recover physically, you know. And then the other thing is we just told the team in the, in the locker room that, you know, some guys, some guys played. Maybe you know I haven't looked at it detailed yet, but it seems like some guys played some more minutes than they have been uh, normally. So that means those guys off the bench, you know, this these back to backs have been so unique. The scores are all over the place. But but I was talking to a coach earlier this week, and he said, man, the, you're six, seven, eight, nine, those type guys are the keys to, to sweeping. So we've got to give those guys – we've got to give them an opportunity uh, to, to help the team because uh, we've we got some tired guys in that locker room. And middle does too. It's just part of it. Everybody good?